All right, so continuing on our journey. Okay, so this time we're looking at an expression. Once again, an expression has no equal signs. This is an expression, not an equation, because it has no equal sign. All right, so we have a grouping symbol. So if we go ahead and use the method that we've used in class, put on our bracket goggles. Do we see any brackets? No. Put on your parentheses goggles. Do you see any parentheses? Aha. Uh -huh. So um, ba basically we're acting like we can only see what's in parentheses right now. All right. So 2 and 5 tenths plus 3 and 2 tenths. Um, I'm just going to do the math to this side just to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. So there's 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. Drop that decimal point like it's hot. So we have 5 and 7 tenths. I can make a little dashed line knowing that I did that. All right, so I can copy down anything that I didn't use. Because I have a multiplication sign over here, I can get rid of the parentheses as well because... I have an operation symbol. If there was no operation symbol right there, like if this multiplication symbol was not there, then you would keep the parentheses on because you would know your next step is to multiply. But um, we're going to multiply anyway without the parentheses on our next step because once we take our, off our parentheses goggles, we put on our multiplication and division goggles, and we have to multiply 5 and 7 tenths times 2. So once again, I am going to do my math to the side. 7 times 2 is 14, carry the 1, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, 1 decimal place in my problem, so 1 decimal place in my product. So now I have kind of taken care of 2 times 5 and 7 tenths, so 2 times 5 and 7 tenths was 11 and 4 tenths, and now I'm going to subtract the 4 tenths. I can even do that over here, it's kind of lazy math is adding on to whatever you have before. But if you can keep it straight and it makes sense and you know what you're doing, then it's okay. Four minus four is zero. One minus zero is one. One minus nothing is one. Drop that decimal point like it's hot. We don't really even need that uh, decimal point in the zero. So our answer is just 11. So when we simplified that, we worked our way through. We had to do what was in grouping symbols first. Remember, brackets and parentheses are your grouping symbols. Once you've gotten rid of your grouping symbols, you can multiply and divide. Once you've multiplied and divide, you can add and subtract. So let's take a look at the next part or see if they show us what to do here. Oh, so they're giving us like, instead of BPMA, they're just saying groups. So BP is combined to G, GMA. Um, so... They are showing you groups, ah, groups, multiplication operations left to right, addition, additive operations left to right. So remember, multiplicative means multiply and divide. Additive means add, add and subtract. All right, so let's see. Where can we place the parentheses to make the expression simplify to 5? All right, so on this one, they do not have parentheses right now. Somewhere. In this problem, we can place one set of parentheses. When we place that set of parentheses, the answer to this problem will magically change to 5. When we simplify our expression, it will turn into 5. So what I want you to do is I want you to think really hard. Go ahead and pause the video um, once I tell you to. <laughs> think really hard about where you could put one set of parentheses around which two numbers to make this expression simplify to 5. All right, so go ahead. And pause it. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, so um, let's see how it worked. So if we put parentheses around the 2 and the 5 tenths, this expression will actually turn into 5. All right. first thing I would do is get rid of that 0 right there because that's just extra numbers and extra digits to look at. So I'd get rid of both of those zeros. Um, so 5 and 5 tenths, um, we have to look uh, minus 2 tenths times 2 plus 5 tenths. And we have to look what's in parentheses first, what's in our grouping symbols. So when we come back to the next video, um, let's take a look at how this expression um, turns into the answer or simplifies into the digit 5. So I'll see you then. Bye.